I'm back. Five months since my last video. Hope you've all been well. Uh, so yeah, what have I been up to? I've been doing a lot of riding. Finished the year off with the uh, Rafa Festive 500. Just got my uh, badge the other day. I had to go at crits which has been a lot of fun. Uh, my first first racing on a, on a road bike. Um, I did a bit of mountain bike racing about 10 years ago, but, uh, but yeah, first time on the, on the road bike. And that got me thinking about training and should I be training a bit more, instead of just going for rides, I actually train a bit more, train a bit more like with purpose. And that brought me to power meters, hence today's video. I got a new toy. It's the Favero Asioma Duos, pedal based, power meters, dual sided, so yeah, you're getting power left and right. So I'm gonna take you through the unboxing, get it on the bike, go for a ride, give you my initial thoughts, and then yeah, in future videos, we might explore a bit more about training with a power meter and, and racing. So let's get into it. So, nice Vivero embossed box. So inside, got the, the left and right. Left and right power meters with the with with the pods on. Power pods. Oh, it's a look. It's a look based system. Um, I used to have look cleats back back in the day. I actually didn't get on with them that well, so I'm hoping I have more success this time. I prefer the time time cleats. Uh, these Asiomas only come with look cleats, so if you want them to work, you got to get with it. Hopefully that works out okay. Otherwise, I've just made a very expensive mistake. Manuals, I will probably not read these. Guarantee and, and manual um, in many languages. Got the cleats. Uh, these are the reds, which have some float, I believe. Uh, battery charger. Uh, these are the shims, we'll come to these later. Power cables, um, one for each side. Big ass hex key for getting the the pedal pedal on, and a whole bunch of different international adapters. Oops, a bit violent. How do you think it's getting me and the and the pedal in shot? I can do it by kneeling down. So with these pedals, you can't have any of the crank arm touching the touching the pod which is what which is what the shims are for Just grab this camera so you can see we've got a nice gap there so no need no need for an extra shim which is handy left side same thing give it a bit of dip of grease cam to thread Pedals are on the bike. Let's turn them on. See if they're charged. Then we need to deal with need to deal with the cleats. So these charging cables are on these really long leads, which is super handy. And they just kind of snap on. Just click on. Let's get charging. Okay, lights are on. Um, <coughs> on the side of the box, you got a QR code. Scan that takes you to the website. On the website, you get the link to the um, to the app on the App Store. So it's found my pedals. Connect. Connected. Left pedal. Activate. Need my email address to activate a pedal. So the left pedal's activated. Now I've got to activate the right pedal. Need to know I want to accept the privacy policy for both pedals in case I'm. Yeah. Crank arm length 172.5. Uh, yep, yeah, 172.5. Zero offset. Let's try that. Check doing this right. Nothing is in contact with the pedals. Correct. Position the crank arms vertically. Keep the bike as vertical and as still as possible. Calibrate. Done. Took like a second. So the next task is uh, swapping the cleats out. Like I say, I used to use time time cleats. I found they're quite hard to um, engage. So I moved to time, which I had a much better time with. 
But seeing as the pedal only uses luck, I need to give them another look. Just while I do the second second shoe, just talk about why why I went with the Asiomas. So price was a big factor. So they are the the other main pedal based power system is the uh, Garmin Vector Threes. Garmin Vector Threes cost more, so about fifteen hundred dollars versus a thousand dollars for the for the Asiomas. So cost more and also weigh more. Um, although they do look prettier. There's no, there's no pod on the Vector 3s, but I'll take aesthetics, you know, a, a compromise on aesthetics over the, the price and weight of the Vector 3s. All right, next thing to do is to add, add the sensor to the Garmin, still using the 520. Add sensor, the familiar Garmin beep. Here we go, power, power's looking good. And it's got a dumbbell symbol for the power gains. All right. So I think we're ready to get out on the bike, see if the thing talks to the Garmin and set up the shoes. So good news on two fronts since I set off. One, amazingly, the quick position I did at the, uh, at the table there seems to feel pretty good. And two, we've got power. Lovely. Power. This is 300 watts. <laughs> nearly 400 watts. I knew it was hard. Whoa. This is actually a terrible trail to try and film on because there's so many dead turns and pedestrians and dogs and other riders, as you can see. Yeah, interesting looking at the numbers. Like the peak power comes higher than I would have guessed, but the average power feels low. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what my FTP is. Might give that a go tomorrow. But yeah, very happy. The thing's up and running. It's day two. Just heading down to the local velodrome to do a FTP test. Uh, the one I'm going to do is um, the Carmichael Training Systems version. So instead of the 20 minutes, it's uh, two lots of eight minutes with a rest in between. So I'll probably do more well, I will do more videos about about this, like once in a few months in, let you know my thoughts on that training system. But yeah, just today, I'm going to try and set the set the training zones. See how we get on. So here we go. Eight minutes, hard as I can. Ten minutes rest, then another eight minutes. We're done. That was hard. Eight minutes is hard to pace. Not sure whether you're going too hard, not hard enough. We're done now. So let's have a look at what the Asioma duos recorded. Uh, the two intervals are in grey. For some reason I did eight and a half minutes on the first interval. Don't ask me why. Uh, this is all the basic stuff you get off your Garmin, speed, heart rate so 186 would be pretty near my max heart rate uh, you've got the um, cadence there left right balance that's interesting it's showing that i'm favoring my left leg and here's the power so you can see that second interval 247 watts that was my highest of the two intervals that's what gets used in calculating the training zones so here they are from me, um, pretty low I think, and it may just be down to the velodrome, it's quite mentally hard to get yourself fired up, maybe I'd get a higher higher numbers if it was on a climb, so I may try that again. So after four rides with the Asioma Duos, I can say that I'm impressed so far, um, as long as you're okay with the look cleats, it's a good option for you know good value uh, dual sided power meter. I believe that Cycling Dynamics are coming to this um, soon as well, which will be an added bonus and another reason why to choose these over the Garmin Vector 3s. So the data is really interesting, my power is a bit lower than I thought, but um, hey there you go. Um, the next step for me is to actually use that data in training, so I'll be I'll be getting deep into the into the book and the program. Um, and once I've done that, I'll have a video about training with power and, and my thoughts on it and, and how I've got on. So until then, take care out there. I'll see you on the road. Cheers, bye bye. 
noisy birds. Day two with the SEO Mode Duo.